the A-10 can operate with relative impunity. The tornado represents a very different approach to the strike mission than the Harrier or the Warthog. It is a deep strike aircraft intended to carry out the battlefield interdiction mission deep into enemy territory. This requires a level of sophistication not found on the Harrier or Warthog. The Tornado was designed from the outset as a multi-purpose aircraft. There are two versions of the Tornado. The Tornado F-3 is an air defense interceptor designed solely for air combat. The Tornado GR-1 is the strike fighter version designed for the attack role toots, at speeds of over 500 miles per hour. The idea behind this tactic is that the Tornado can remain hidden from enemy anti-aircraft radar. Terrain features such as trees, hills, or even buildings can obstruct their view. The radar on the Tornado GR-1 can be set to a terrain-following mode, which guides the aircraft over the ground at a predetermined height to avoid major obstructions. During the 91 Gulf War, the Tornado GR-1 formed the backbone of the Royal Air Force's deep strike capability. The initial night mission of the GR-1s was to attack Iraqi air bases using JP-233 anti-runway munitions. This was one of the most dangerous assignments in the coalition air assault, with the Tornado squadron suffering many losses. Once the runways were destroyed, the tornadoes switched missions and munitions. Their targets were expanded to cover key installations deep in Iraq. Because of the tornado's sophisticated radar, targets could be attacked accurately, even at night. The munitions they used were tailored for their missions laser-guided bombs for pinpoint targets, conventional unguided bombs for most other targets. Bridges were a specialty of the tornado force. In this footage, shot during a tornado attack on an Iraqi bridge, the crosshairs mark where the laser designator is being directed. The guided bomb senses the reflected laser beam and homes in on the bridge with remarkable precision. During the Gulf War, the Royal Saudi Air Force also flew the Tornado GR-1 as its principal strike aircraft. As in the British case, when low-level missions were necessary, night operations were the rule. Once the Iraqi radar defenses had been effectively eliminated, the best the Iraqis could do was to fire blindly into the night sky. But night attacks are long and arduous. After a mission deep behind enemy lines, the first glimpse of the home base's runway is always a welcome sight. In 1998, the upgraded Tornado GR-4 entered service. GR-4s incorporate a variety of systems upgrades, including forward-looking infrared radar, a new heads-up display, and GPS-guided bombs. In March 2003, Tornado GR-4s were dispatched in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. As capable as the versatile strike fighters are today, their designs are decades old, and eventually they will be replaced. In 1996, the U.S. Department of Defense began the replacement process for the initiation of the Joint Strike Fighter Program. The AF-32, which was designed to be powerful, lightweight, and extremely maneuverable. It would have a range and payload capacity greater than any of the planes it was designed to replace. It would also have faster acceleration and be more agile. Stealthy and supersonic, the twin-engine YF-32 would have 85% commonality among its many variants.
Despite the strengths of Boeing's YF-32, in 2001 the Pentagon awarded the largest military contract in history to its competitor, Lockheed Martin's YF-35. As much as $200 billion will go toward the Joint Strike Fighter program, now designated the F-35. More than 2,800 F-35s have been ordered, with delivery beginning in 2008. Three variants will be produced to meet the different needs of the American Air Force, Navy, Marines, as well as the British Royal Air Force and Navy. The F-35A will replace the U.S. Air Force's F-16 Falcon and A-10 Warthog aircraft and will partner with the F-A-22 Raptor Air Superiority Fighter. The F-35B will feature short takeoff and vertical landing to suit the needs of the U.S. Marine Corps, the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy. This variant will replace the Harrier, the Sea Harrier, the F-A-18 Hornet and the GR-7 Tornado. The U.S. Navy will fly the F-35C variant, which will serve alongside their new Super Hornets. It will have larger wing and tail control surfaces for low-speed carrier operations, and its airframe will be strengthened to absorb the stress of catapult launches and arrested landings. The radar-evading F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is expected to be the world's premier strike aircraft through 2040. Part fighter, part bomber, the versatile strike fighters play an important role on today's battlefield. As the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter takes to the skies, the strike fighter legacy will be carried on well into the 21st century.